This is Brother Peter Diamond, VaticanCatholic.com. Anti-Pope Francis is dominating headlines around the world with his assertion that people don't need to believe in God to get to heaven. His position is, of course, heresy and apostasy. He made the statement in an open letter to the founder of the newspaper La Repubblica. Statements like this only confirm what we've documented about the Vatican II anti-popes and what was proven in our video, What Francis Really Believes. I've read Francis' entire letter to La Repubblica, not just headlines which reported on his letter. The headlines accurately reflect what anti-pope Francis wrote. Don't allow any liar to claim that Francis' statement has been misrepresented by the media. It has not been misrepresented. Concerning atheists, Francis wrote, quote, First of all, you ask if the God of the Christians forgives those who do not believe and do not seek faith. Given that, and this is fundamental, God's mercy has no limits if he who asks for mercy does so in contrition and with a sincere heart, the issue for those who do not believe in God is in obeying their own conscience. In fact, listening and obeying it means deciding about what is perceived to be good or to be evil. The goodness or the wickedness of our behavior depends on this decision. End quote. Here Francis clearly indicates that people who don't believe in God can be forgiven and saved if they obey their own conscience and follow what they perceive to be good. That's an astounding heresy because it's a basic dogma of Catholicism that faith is necessary for salvation. This is a fundamental issue. As Hebrews 11.6 says, quote, without faith it is impossible to please God, end quote. The dogma of the church that no one can be justified, saved, or pleasing to God without faith was taught throughout history and solemnly declared by the Council of Trent and Vatican I. Both councils repeated the truth of Hebrews 11.6. Of course, it's also a dogma that one must have the Catholic faith to be saved and that no one can be saved outside the Catholic Church. That truth has been defined by many popes. Francis's heresy trashes and denies all of those proclamations, but it gets even worse because there are specific dogmatic definitions against the notion that atheists can be excused or saved. Based on Romans 1, which teaches that all who deny the existence of God are inexcusable, Vatican I solemnly declared in Canon 1 on Revelation, quote, If anyone shall have said that the one true God, our Creator and Lord, cannot be known with certitude, by those things which have been made, by the natural light of human reason, let him be anathema. End quote. Notice, the position that atheists can be excused for not recognizing what is clear from the natural light of human reason, namely that there is a God, is an anathematized heresy. In Canon 1 on God the Creator, Vatican I also declared, quote, If anyone shall have denied the one true God, Creator and Lord of visible and invisible things, let him be anathema. End quote. That means that anyone who denies God or his existence is specifically anathematized. Francis's statement rejects these dogmatic definitions, in addition to all the others previously mentioned. People need to realize the significance of this heresy. The truth that one must have faith is a basic and fundamental teaching of Christianity. His statement that people can be saved without faith is equivalent to denying that Jesus is God, or that Mary is the mother of God, or that Jesus rose again. They are all basic dogmas. He has openly repudiated a teaching of Christianity, the necessity of faith. He is a complete heretic. Not that more proof was required, but Francis' statement is another indication that he is not the Pope, but a heretical non-Catholic anti-Pope. The organization he represents, the Vatican II sect, is not the Catholic Church, but the end-times counter-church. 